right. It's the Cares None the Be Dope podcast. I am your host, Chris Cares None, and I got a special ho- a special guest today, Reese Gates, also known as, is it Reese Defer? As you the first person to get it right. People be like, Reese top her? I'm like, no, it's Reese Defer. Because people yeah, call that. And I had a friend that was like, okay, I have like a million different nicknames with my close friends. So one used to call me Steefer. Like off of American Pie. Uh, oh, the- okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Oh, he he used to call me Steefer for some reason. <laughs> okay. He turned into like they called me in high school. They used to call me Reese. And my real name is Mark. My real name is Maurice. Okay, okay. And in high school, one of the senior guys used to say, "Get him, Reese," and we would hoop. So I got the Reese, and then for some reason, my best friend we used to start calling me Reesefer. And that just stuck. You know, when you're looking for yeah, names, like, yeah, oh, that's it. Yeah. None of your regular stuff works. And then that was the one thing that worked. So I right. was like, done. Like, uh, one of my good buddies, uh, he's actually my roommate now. I don't know where it came from. It makes no sense to nothing, but he calls me Shiz. <laughs> I don't know. Like, he's like, hey, Shiz. And now it just, he's the only one on your front of your foot, chin. No, like Shiz, chin. like S H I Z Z. Oh, shiz. I'm like, shiz. I don't even know. He calls me shiz Collinsworth. Like, <laughs> and I think the thing is autistic. I love him. He's autistic though. All right. So tell me this, man. Yo, you've been on since 2016, 2013, according to IG. How long you been doing the comedy thing? Man, the bro, I would really say like, actually like trying. Like going hard. <sighs> Just like attempting and like starting saying like, all right, I'm gonna start putting out videos. I would say 2018, mm. for sure 2018, maybe the end of 2017. Like, cause I, you know, for me, bro, you know, most people's Facebooks, they have like, you know, you got your close friends, y'all make local jokes. So I would always do little funny videos about my people. You follow me on Facebook, so you know what I'd be doing. So that's all I would do. And I think I made one video where I was working out and uh, I was doing like the D, I was doing like the Dougie, you know, that originated in Dallas. Right, right. And so I did like a workout. So I had to wait and I was dug in. I did all different kinds of stuff and it kind of like went viral. Like for okay. me, 35,000 views, like that's a lot. For Hell me. yeah. <laughs> Especially at that time. Bro. Right. Even now, that's still like a lot, you know, on Facebook. But, um, it went viral a little bit, and I was like, okay, maybe I got something. So then I came back with like a H-Town, like Southside. So I did like the Southside version of the workout, and it kind of did well. So then I was like, all right, let me just keep going. And then I ended up doing that Crip Fit. Oh, man, we got to talk about the Crip Fit. I started doing that Crip Fit, man, and that mug whew, took off. That was, uh, wait, so that's all it was, is you was already doing the workout thing, and, and then you said, let me find different ways to do this. Well, see... Most of the time, like, so this is me, bro. When I work out, if you, if people that know me, they know when I work out, I'm always dancing, I'm jigging. Right, right. Uh, you know, I'm working out hard, but like I'm playing, like I just feel the music. To me, it's like cardio. You're constantly moving. Like I'll be in there sweat. I'm in my garage, garage. <laughs> good, garage. Right. That's why I call it the sweat box. Cause I do not lift the, the, the door up. So if you work out with me, you finna sweat. Okay. I, I can't even go to the gym anymore cause it feels too cold. Or whatever, but um. Oh, you there? You going that hard, bro? If it's ninety seven outside in the sweat box, it's probably one hundred one. But um, and that's another thing too, cause you in Texas, bro. That Texas heat is different. Yeah, I've been. I've had the Vegas heat. Is it like Vegas heat? Vegas like dry, see, dry ass. Where it's just like where it's really hot. It's just hot. In Texas, it's hot and humid. Mm, Cause you about by that by the by the water, right? Yeah, you sweat and then it's sticking on you. Like there's no comp, like you can't get comfortable. Then you got mosquitoes. Like then you got traffic. Like it's a whole, it's a whole thing down here. But like that whole trip, it, bro. I was working out, like listening to like YG Nipsey. I start, you know, crip walking around. I had my son running around playing on his little jungle gym that I have in there for him. And then I was like. I said, man, this could be a video. Went and grabbed my phone, set it up, and I just started doing random stuff that I could crip walk to. 
edit it on my little S6 phone. <laughs> right here, the, the start of the video. My son ran through on accident on one part. And it was perfect. And to it me, was perfect. it was like nothing. It was like cool, funny, but everyone else loved it. And I was like, and that's how it be, bro. It'd be the one video that you don't care nothing about, they love. But the one you put the time in, it was like, oh, I'm finna kill him oh, with this. It'd be your worst shit. <laughs> Until five in the morning editing, you drop that mug, you got a special thumbnail, you got yeah. perfect 17 views. <laughs> but the one you just said, hey man, hey, take a picture of me real quick doing this. Oh, Reese, you crazy, man. I'm like, nah, y'all crazy. You know what I've noticed too, like with, with videos when like when I'm editing, things that I because you edit your own shit too, right? So like when I'm editing, I'll be like, okay, that's a funny part. That's a funny part. That's a funny part. And then you post it. And then things that you didn't even think would be the funny part, other people think are funny. I think in the back of that Crip Fit video, on my wall, it's supposed to say the sweat box. But when my, uh, when my sister-in-law was putting it up there for me, like as a surprise, the, D, the D-A-S-W fell off. So now it says eat box. Oh, so, so that's just perfect. But everyone was like, man, why did he not eat box? Like, he freaky. <laughs> like, so. Right, 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 right. Layers, bro. But that, yeah, that video, pop. how many views did you get on that video total, or, like man, across the board? Oh. So just to be you, multiple, multiple millions, bro. It got millions. A whole gang of people, like celebrities, everybody reposted it. Snoop Dogg posted it too, didn't he? No, um, we'll it see. was on Snoop's page. Straight, straight the truth. He showed it to him, but he didn't post that one. If he did, I didn't see it. But I know that he's seen the video. I swear, I thought you'd. See, oh, no, I, I could be wrong. I thought Snoop posted that drunk freestyling video. That's that what it was. That's what the, the drunk freestyle, which is still love. How did that feel? How did that feel? Bro, I was like, why would he post that video? Like, how did he even find that one? I was like, <laughs> that, that video was over a year old. It was, it did okay on my page at that time. It's like, how did you see this? Like, how did Snoop, yeah. how did this come across your screen? How did like, like why hasn't Crip Fit been the one thing that he reposted? Yeah, and so that was a good point. You're right. The story behind that, fam, is I randomly made the video when I dropped it because I, I have a Twitter, but I didn't, you know, you you probably neglect certain social medias a little Twitter bit. Twitter is the one I neglect. <laughs> Twitter for sure is what I neglect. So I didn't put it on Twitter. Someone took it from my, um, I believe my YouTube, not my YouTube, but from either Instagram or Facebook. They took it from there cut off my the ending in the beginning where I had my tag and it went by. Oh, I remember, the, yeah, because you was like, could y'all tag me in it? Yeah, because which is it's your shit. Bro, I sent probably a thousand people. Hey, man, please. Thanks for sharing the video. Can you please tag me? Because like Chris Brown shared it. Like my wife woke me up at like two. I know. She was like, nigga. <laughs> Bro, let's see what she did. She didn't say, hey, babe, look, Chris Brown posted it. She was like, you think you the shit, don't you? Ah, is it, is it, why didn't be on that? I'm in my sleep, so I'm like, I'm like, what's that? I'm like, I ain't texting nobody. I haven't like done nobody. I'm a good, faithful black man. Like, like what's going on? Black man, don't she's you? Like, she's like, look at your phone. And I looked, and I'm like, Chris Brown? I had to make sure I had the little check by his name. I'm like, oh. So I'm just getting ready to like right. screenshot all that. When I go back to it, it's gone. After 20 minutes. Oh, then, so he, he took it down? I think he took it down because you know he's a blood. So oh. I think maybe someone might have said something to him. You got the screenshot though? For your for your own thing? Yep. Hell yeah. Oh, you know, everybody, like when you got that one person that share your stuff, you'd be like, Yeah. I only uh I because I don't my best one was uh uh Kodak Black liked one of my one of my gems. And I was like, oh, if somebody showed me, I didn't even notice. You, you, you know, I mean, when you get all the likes, you don't get, you can't see all of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then somebody's like, bro, you, you know, your shit. I'm like, and he, it was, I like screenshot the hell out of Kodak Black. So that's probably the biggest one that I know has, that's like, give me, maybe other people have seen it, but that was the only one that I could prove have seen it. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely someone else has seen your stuff. Cause like, you know, some of them dudes, I don't think they can like certain stuff. Like they can, but. I think every time they like something, you know, someone always screenshot it. Yeah, that's a good hey, point. Man, look, you like this. Let's take away his endorsements. <laughs> what was the what was the moment that you said, "Yep, I got to do this"? 
probably when that um which one did I have? I think when that crit fit really hit, that's when I was like, you know what? I think I can kind of turn this into something. Cause that's when like a lot of people kind of started reaching out to me. People like around Houston kind of no started noticing me. And then like, I do a lot of Houston content. Yeah, so with I'll the scratch and screwed and the lean. I, I love those. Like, bro, I grew up on that. You know what I'm saying? So like that's, to me, I feel like if you do what's natural to you, your audience can see that. And then they're gonna really rock with you cause you're not being fake. Like I'm not doing no, like I'm not, I'm no thug. So when I'm acting like one, you can tell I'm acting like one, like being, being funny. silly. Yeah. I'm not trying too hard to do that because I know that's not me or whatever. So like the whole H Town thing, that's that's in my blood. Like that's right, right. Easy work. Have you lived out there your whole life? No, nah, like well, see, I'm from um if people know Texas, I'm from East Texas. So I'm from a like a little small city called Nacogdoches, Texas. <laughs> that, that, that sounds southern. <laughs> Nacogdoches, it, it, most people like whenever I say that, um, I'll be like, it's where SFA is, Stephen F. Austin University. So okay, I've, you, I've heard of the college, yeah. So that's where that um that college is or whatever. But you know, we East Texas and we right up from Houston. So every time those dudes used to perform, like, you know, screwed up click, switch a house, all them guys, right, they would always hit all the small cities you know, to perform. So, you know, that was big to us. And then like, you know, we love the music period. So, and then I went to school at um, Prairie View, PV, uh, PVAMU, okay. uh, HBCU. But uh, that's where I went. Someone, my, my uh, best friend's mom told, she lied. Well, she didn't lie. She told me that Prairie View was in Houston. So I'm like, oh, okay. I get to be in the big city. Man, we drove to Houston and then we left Houston to go to PV. Like, it's like- How many minutes is it? Probably like 30 minutes away. Oh, that, that, uh, that counts a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I'm talking about 30 minutes, no traffic. 30 minutes, like in Houston, that's like a five mile drive. Oh, yeah, like traffic okay. down here because you know it's cheap, bro. So, like, everybody named Mama is moving down here. So, I, man, Texas is the spot right now. Everybody, bro, that's where people come in and coming and making their money stretch. Yeah, cause I, there's no what kind what kind of no taxes income taxes, what, what what's the taxes y'all don't got up down there? I know something about child support is. <laughs> I heard like I remember when Slim Thug was trying to get somebody to come to like the Houston Rockets and he was like, "Look, bro, we ain't got no uh child support." Like, <laughs> all over here. Yeah, you can just bust all the loads off. <laughs> you good? You have to get a black man to come to your. Wait, basketball. I don't even wait, wait. What does that mean? No child support, like so. If you like, you could just say fuck a baby and just <laughs> like, I think, you know? like, I think even in like California, they have a, I think something about with the marriage, like something with the prenups or, or something. I think like over there, it don't matter. You automatically get half. It's something with, there's a, some little finagle, like, man, California got like a whole bunch of extra taxes and stuff. But I think, yeah, it, yeah that, that's why niggas is leaving. Moves out there. So they probably got to put some stipulations like to keep some of us up out of there. Cause I know LA and New York is like all falling off, you know what I'm saying? And they so expensive. Yeah, bro. I like couldn't. Hollywood, it, I don't think, remember like back in the day you had to go, not had to, but it would help you to go to LA to especially, you know, to be doing any kind of entertainment. But it feels like because of the internet and like social media, you don't, it don't have to be that way. It makes it possible for you like to kind of build your buzz already. And then if you have to go out there, cause I mean, to be honest, that is where a lot of the productions and all those, you know, the facilities, all this stuff is out there. Like in Houston, I don't know where I could go that has a full filming studio type right, right. situation. Like you have to go over there and that's where all the producers are at, you know what I'm saying? So. But I'm but, saying like you could get different creators. You don't, you don't have to like, like I can go to Houston and you can come to Chicago. But we both deal, we probably both deal with that same, you know, what do you do in Chicago or Houston for what we trying to entertain? Yeah. We grew up thinking LA. Yep. Although Atlanta, it seems like Atlanta is kind of coming up a little bit. That, that, that feels like the next, well, I mean, it is. You, know, you got Tyler Perry and all those, like he he created that over there. Like you, They call you, it Black you, Hollywood, don't they? Huh. Yeah. I mean, and right, you got all those people that want to be actors and stuff, so you can either go to Atlanta, you know, Wakanda, <laughs> <laughs> go over to, you know. <laughs> I just watched that last night. I just watched Black Panther last night, man. I just want to, you know, it's sad that homie passed, man. Bro, it's sad because like he, 
Like, why would you take him? Like, dude was positive. Like, you can't say nothing bad. Like, what can you say bad about him? Literally nothing. Heard nothing, not one thing. You know what no I'm saying? Dirt, no nothing. Like Denzel Washington. Right. You know, so, I don't know. You like man. Denzel Washington's kid? I like him. Oh, um, his son. His son's an actor, isn't he? Yeah, pretty good too. He was in. Uh, he was in Ballers with with the uh, The Rock. Yeah, Rock. I didn't get to watch that, man. Yeah, I, so that he was. He's like, and if you close your eyes, he sound like his daddy. Man, daddy? Well, see, when that was coming out, I thought about the video game, The Ballers. You remember that? Oh yeah, with the basketball. Like the yeah. Wait, no, they they made a football one too, didn't they? I think it was like a foot. I think it was a football one. No, it might have been basketball. It I think been. it might have been both. It might have been both. Let me see. Yeah. It was called definitely basketball. Yeah, it was something was like the- ballers. Maybe it was like NBA ballers. Yeah, because I remember it was Stefan Marbury on the cover, I believe. Yep. Like doing like a crossover with some chains and shit. All right, so so what are your plan? Like, what is your dream? Because I know you well, you know what? Scratch that. Let me ask you this. And we talked about this a little bit on the on IG. You you have a lot of ideas, right? And I feel like you 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 and you just put it out, right? Which is good. That means you don't give a fuck. You don't put out your ideas. But the fact that you even have those ideas, what is your creative process? Like, what are you doing? Are you writing it down? Are you talking to people? What are you doing, um, bro? To be honest, I would say, man, a lot of this stuff comes from. So before I would have ideas, right? Like you know, little stuff will pop up, and I'd be like, "Oh, that'd be funny if this happened," and that was just that. And but I wasn't doing videos, but you like I know you can probably attest to this. When you get into this, I guess social media world or trying to create content, if you really about that, that's all your mind's gonna be thinking about all the time, bro. I, I remember I was getting a um a performance evaluation from my boss, and she said something. I was like, my mind totally clicked off, and I was like, oh man, that would be funny had she said it this way. And then I could film from this way coming in. Mm, right. And then I had to go back and she was like, yeah, you know, you haven't been turning stuff in on time. And I'm like, okay, well, it's probably because I'm thinking about skits. <laughs> right, 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 right. It's at work, but I don't know, bro. Like I, I just, I see stuff and I just think of like how funny it could be. And then I write it down, bro. I put that, go to my notes in my phone. Yeah, you gotta have that. And you know, sometimes it might just be a high level idea. I don't have all the, you know, the meat to go on the bones or whatever. And then sometimes something trendy happens and then that idea pops back up and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, this, I could use this for that. This is perfect. Oh, so you're saying you can mix and match ideas. Okay, I see what you said, yep. Like for instance, when Popeye's, that's, like, that's an easy joke, right? That's an easy one to hop on. That's so like, you know, let's say I had an idea to do a Friday skit, you know? And then the Popeye's happened. So that's when I did the skit where, you know, mm-hmm, the I guy went out and he was like, where you going? Like, Man, I'm going to Popeye. Cause you know, so, so you need right, to go right. just to get a chicken sandwich. So like, that's how those ideas kind of uh, come together, man. I know why, uh, so I, I write them down. So do you do this? Like when, so you'll like write down the basis, of, like say you're out with your boys, whatever, and you have something that's funny, you write it in your phone. Do you write like just a basis and then go back and then sit down and write it out and try to get ideas? Or do you? Uh, so if I'm like moving and I know that I'm going to forget it and I'm not going to shoot it right then and there, I literally just make a note. Because at first I used to make like, man, my notes were so bad. It'd be something so simple, like lean in the cup, shit. And I, then like whenever it comes <laughs> to my notes, I'd be like, okay, what? what am I supposed to do with leaning a cup? Like shit, I don't forgot. So now I kind of make it a little bit more detailed to where I have no choice but to know. Right. Cause then it'll be easier to get back to that mentally. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I know. I have. Um, so I do this all the time. And can you can you attest to this? Do you now because you and you edit too? So that's you also do all the producing. The you know you do everything just like I do. Do you take more pride in what you see from other shit? Like when when I'm watching a movie, I'm always like, oh, that's a dope. That's dope, bro. That's all I like. Even like we're working out. So when I was working out. When I see other people, like let's say there's a fine girl on Instagram, I don't just see that she got a butt or some titties or something. I look and be like, oh man, look at her calf muscles. Uh, she's really, oh, look at her uh, tricep. Like I can tell she's really like, I don't even notice the normal stuff. So like when it comes to like filming, man, when someone can make that perfect transition mm. or, you know, like even like, let's say it's something where like the camera's on me 
it goes over here and it comes back and I've like transformed into something else. Right, 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 right. Make that seamless. Like that's instead of it just cutting, you can tell that they stopped it. Like, of course, mm -hmm. you know they're gonna have to stop it eventually. Right. But you can trick someone that just adds to it, bro. And then especially when people do those skits where they're just going straight through. So like for a minute, it's just off the head and they're just killing it. Like uh, Country Wayne is good with doing that. Oh, I told you, okay, okay. I see what you're saying, where there's no edits at all. Yeah, where it's just like, but it's hitting with the funny the whole time. Like I just, man, I got a respect for a lot of different ways that people do their skits, man. Yeah, you know, like for instance, I feel like a lot of my skits are more towards Long Beach because he, you know, Long Beach Griffey, because that was what I saw that made me believe, wait, I could do that too. So I do a lot of like, for instance, like the way we looking at the screen right now is me, da 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 da, me, da 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 da. So that's a lot of my skits. Whereas your skits more, more you have like more production as far as like, like you'll be outside more often. I try, I try to, that's, I try to really bring home like the creative and I try to do it in like all aspects, bro. Like if it calls for me to be just how you shoot it, then I'm gonna shoot it that way. If I got somebody that can help me that day, then I'm gonna try to get some more camera movement. Cause sometimes that camera movement helps you when you're editing. Man. You, know, you got a Ken burn, right. all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? It just makes it easier when, cause uh, luckily the reason I got my camera is because it, it flips out. So you I can, can watch myself. Right. Yeah. That's why like, I hate doing TikToks because I usually, I got to do it by myself and I got an Android. So my rear, uh, my front facing camera sucks. And that's the only way I can really see myself and see if I'm in the camera view. And I ain't finna be dancing, TikToking all damn day just to try to get the perfect. I'd rather just use my camera. But, it, you know, it's certain, um, certain perks to actually use in their app. Because I feel like if you use their app, it may get shown to more people. It could it's be, all kind of those weird rules and little little shit. Yeah. They can't really prove it, but it feel that way. Cause even like they they keep taking down videos that I've already posted, talking yeah. about I'm going against the guidelines, and I'm like, how am I going against the guidelines? It's already on my feet. right, right, right. You know, so. it's because it's the out it's the algorithm. That's what that because it's not like a person. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a computer like like it's it's artificial intelligence. And, and now it's gotten so good that they can read the screen. Like they'll be able to read the screen and see that it says cares not. Now if that said nigger in the background, you know what I'm saying? They they would take that down. They wouldn't take it out though. They would be like, okay, it says nigger. And then there's a white person in the screen. Keep it. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, but it's not people though. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, so. and it's funny. Cause like some people are getting kicked off of social media for some things, but some ain't, you know, uh, go ahead. That's the first thing I did when, like the, the Call of Duty skits that I do, like those are real guns. Like my, my brother-in-law, you know, he, he has real guns. So like, I wanted to use that because when you have that real aesthetic, kind of makes the video pop more. Like Desi Banks, sure. he's perfect. Right. Like every time he does a video, he's in the, if he's a mail truck video, he's literally in a mail truck. I don't know how he gets in some of these places. I think yeah. he's okay. in his celebrity. And they're like, all right, bitch, come on, man. Come up to the chicken spot at uh, 12. We close and then you come in and do your thing. But um, I'm wondering if it's like people that he knows or like is the company letting him do that shit? I've seen him like at Subway and shit. Bro, I, I think, and see like, man, I've met people where they were like, yeah, man, just come back at this time and you'll do it. Like it's just meeting cool people. But you know, he's in Atlanta. So he probably knows, they, everyone knows him, of course. So they're probably like, oh man, I'll get to be in the video with such and such, like, come on. And then probably some businesses, he probably plugs them. So, you know. Well, cause I know like, and that shows the power of social media, right? I feel like the new celebrities are the social media ones. Like mm -hmm. no more the, the Jennifer Aniston's and, and Brad Pitt's and it's like, they're kind yeah. of go, falling off and it's the, it's the social media stars. Man, we be broke, but we be niggas be knowing us. <laughs> right, but you can flip it. You know, you can turn it in. Like for instance, we both, you and I sell merch, bro, I'm shocked how how cool how much it's how, how good it's done oh, so and fam i want to say i love how people are supporting you fam like i saw you posting like all the people wearing it and like actually like supporting like bro that and then like i think you do a lot of that yourself huh uh, as far as making the shit yeah well i got a guy named cj that i go through yeah absolutely but it's it's not like from a corporation or no shit i'm you saying know, I like my... hand package everything yeah i do all yeah i do all that yeah like it, it just adds a, a, a level of like, look, man, thank y'all for rocking with me, trying to get it to him on time, perfect. Like, 
Right, right. Like for me, like the shirts that, like all the shirts that I sell, that's me going, handpicking the shirt, going to my guy who does my the printing and stuff, right. sitting there making sure that he's doing it right. I'm having to drive 40 minutes just to get there because it's Houston, bro. Driving 40 minutes, just to get there. <laughs> which is like four miles away. <laughs> uh, ready. He got a million. He he tries to do everything himself. So I'm sitting there like almost in there myself, making the shirts, making sure they're good, packaging them, folding them, getting everything perfect, getting nice little packages and like little um, I sent a sticker. I think I got it with me here. I sent like a sticker. Yeah, like, I gotta get on my, that. That's dope. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? So so people are gonna just see your shit randomly throughout the world. You know what I'm saying? I stay putting mine on McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I was people like, hey man, I saw you sticker. And then sometimes, bro, they see it and they're like, well, shoot, let me type in creative comedy. Right. You never know. And like people on like YouTube be like, hey man, I saw your sticker at McDonald's. And I'm like, oh, I guess the marketing works. The marketing worked. Right, right, right. Um, I definitely gotta get more into that. So, like you're the guy who you go through for your t-shirts, for your for your brand and your merch. He, is he is he kind of on the beginning of the come up too? Like my guy is like we kind of come like, at the same time. He's um he's like a legit like he does shirts. He does he does all type of prints. So like if you need big old signs for your business outside of business, like, uh, like all of that. Like I'm talking about huge signs, screen printing. Uh, I don't think he does the DTG. If people know what that is when it comes right. to shirt, but uh, direct I mean, to garment, right? I think that's what it's called. But I think his whole family does it, and he kind of has. You, well, I, he's an Indian guy, and you know them, they stick together, they open up a business, everybody works, and right. they, you know, bring, uh, bring themselves up or whatever. So, like, with him, he has a shirt business, and, like, he literally has, like, a brother who is two stores over who has a shirt business as well. So you can either go to either one of them, Boom. and he's been BSing me a little bit, so I done went over to his brother. Like, he hey. Price. <laughs> Like, fam, I've, I've brought so much, like, work to him. And I don't ask anybody for a discount. But you would think that at the bare minimum, you would have my stuff ready when you say you're going to have it. Oh. Not BS me or whatever. I'm like, dude, I'm literally coming here and meeting people that I've, like, told about you. You know, just happily, just randomly popping up and being like, oh, hey, what's up, man? I, I see you decided to come get your shirt, da, 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 da. And then they tell him that, hey, man, he's the one who sent me. He's like, oh man, thank you. And like, that's it. But you being late with all my stuff. And yeah, at least just be on time. Yeah, like I'm driving 40 minutes. I'm being away from my kids and my wife all day, just trying to make seven shirts because that's all the people that maybe they ordered one, but I want to make sure that those seven people. Yeah, you want to take care of them. Yeah. So, and it's your name attached to it, right? It's your brand attached to it. So, so like, I'm like, it's yeah. already hard enough selling shirts. So, you don't want to alienate one or two people who may possibly keep on buying uh, shirts in the future, so. Right, right. I know, uh, so like I said, in the first three weeks of, uh, of doing the merchandising, I sold like a hundred articles in three weeks. And I'm like, oh, it's a thing. It's, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay. And then I started just seeing the logo and I'm like, you know, and, I, and I've been, it's, before it was, I wasn't even thinking about merchandise at all. I was just trying to, I've been saying this cares none shit since like 2006 or some shit, right? I've always just said it. And then once I started to get a platform on IG, then I started to put it on the videos and people just started, and I, I didn't even do it on purpose in the beginning. I would just say it just cause that's how I talk. And then people started liking it. I'm like, oh, I forgot how cold that was. I, kinda, I think that's kind of how you got me. It's like your whole, like you hitting that cares none, like at the end. Yeah. Like, cares none. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? That was it was new. Like what no one else was doing it. Right. Yeah. Saying, oh, that's, and then like I kind of liked how you were. It's almost like, bro, when you see other people, when you see yourselves and other people, like you see how they're having to edit by themselves, film by themselves, and then they actually pull it off. It gives you like a higher respect. So like oh, even like yeah. I don't follow Mac a fool, like a uh, guy in Dallas. Bro, I, you gotta check him out, fam. Like he Mac a fool. Yeah, like M A C K underscore A underscore fool. Like, trust me, bro. I know you're gonna like his stuff. His okay. shit is crazy. Mac underscore A underscore. Yeah. Mac a fool. All right. 
Yeah. All right, follow. All right. So he's, he does what we do? He like comedy and shit? Oh, he does that. And like, you know how we're kind of crazy with some of our characters? He's like. Oh, he's ex- exceptional. Outside with a diaper on. <laughs> oh, okay. He's here. But, <laughs> he does it like all himself, bro. And like his little transitions and stuff. Like you can tell if he just had like a actual, you know, like me. My thing is I need help. I need help as far as like a film crew, like someone who yeah. can help me with the movement and stuff. Cause it's hard trying to do the type tripod. Yeah, it, man, bro, when it's sitting on a tripod, that's it. It's just a simple shot. So you really got to act out or overact just to like, you know, make it some thing, work right. or whatever. But uh, that's why I like um, with my wing reviews. One, one of the guys who also one of my co-hosts on this podcast He's uh he was like, cause I was like, man, you know, it'd be dope to do this wing. Cause I've been wanting to do this wing review for a while with, with, with Steve. I said, man, we could do it on a tripod. You know what I'm saying? But I do have a fucking $2,500 camera. Like I want to do it right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I was thankful that, uh, that Derek was like, yeah, I, I'm down. He like wants to add that to his portfolio. So I'm like, oh, that's perfect. Like the show y'all actually walking by the spot. And instead right. of you going to go shoot a bunch of B-roll yourself. You know, actually have you in the footage, moving around, stuff like you know, like how you actually see on like the Food Channel. Or yeah. Whatever. Just, well, you know, you ever heard of uh, Dave Portnoy from the Pizza Review? Man, uh, he's uh, bar- he's the president of Barstool Sports. I know, I know, Gilly didn't rock with them, but I haven't. Uh, is that all that he does? Is that the only? No, he thing? does a bunch of shit now, but that's one of the things that blew up for him. So he had Barstool Sports, which has like a cult following, right? Um, but then he started. So what he did is he decided that he was going to get a slice of cheese pizza from everywhere every day. So for the last like four years, every day he goes and gets a slice of cheese pizza and he rates them. And it blew up. It blew up. He's got his own app. It's gotten so big that his his ranking really affects that places. You know how good they do. Oh, okay, they respect. Yeah. Like I remember one time he went. And he this is fucked up. He went to a place. Like he always got the guy with the camera, same thing he does every single time. And this one dude was giving him straight fucking attitude, right? He was like, you can't have this fucking camera in here. And he's like, damn, that's what you want? And he's like, yeah, get the fuck out. So then dude was like, zero, zero. And he get, yep, bad, big fucking mistake guy, right? <laughs> they had to shut the company down, fired homie to t- teach to all the people how to fucking like treat your people. Because he once he was he literally affected the business. When we told him zero, and like, and they started giving death threats and shit. This shit was crazy. Oh, that's why you gotta be humble, dog. Yeah, like, why you was never he acting know, that way? You never know who you gonna mess over that could possibly be the one to bring you up. All because right. you asshole. And that's where I got the idea from. Because I, I watched him. I'm like, and it's something about when you rate something. People like seeing what the rating will be. That's why I don't know if you, a lot of my videos, I'll be like, I'll just rate some shit. Like, huh, I give it a 6.5. What would you give it? So yep. then that gets people like, a, oh, you know what? I had that too. No, it's way more. It gives people something to engage about. I'm just going to say that, bro. Like, if every time you do something, it's someone else had, that has either tried that. And when they see that, and you know, you probably tell somebody, like, hey, man, these burgers are great. And they'd be like, all right, whatever. But then when you see somebody else that feels the same way you feel, you're like, hey, bro, I, man, I feel the same way, man. Especially like if you're talking about LeBron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> right, right, right. Hate. Right. And then you got your people who they rocking with you. So then y'all team up and then now y'all all fighting the mm-hmm. other side. Which gives you the engagement. That's what you want. Uh, I try to keep my shit positive on the page. But yeah. I do know what I do sometimes is like, I don't know if you saw the video I did where I, I was, it was very clearly I'll look like Ice Cube. But on the title, I said, I am not Ice-T. <laughs> and all the comments is like, uh, you idiot, that's Ice Cube. I'm like, clearly, you know, I know it's Ice Cube, but the people are responding to that. I play dumb, like, for real? Yeah. <laughs> what you mean? No, oh, it couldn't be. So I think like sarcastic <laughs> or whatever. Especially, like, if someone's, like, an asshole in the comments, I just be sarcastic, man. Because my own, it's either I be sarcastic, ignore it, or I talk about your mama. So. <laughs> hey, 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 win, lose, and draw, motherfucker. <laughs> Sometimes, man, like, if you respond to those people, especially if you show a little bit of anger, your followers are going to jump on the bandwagon. And then, like, I don't want anyone to, like, get bullied or or whatever. But 
if you like, if you real disrespectful, like, I don't care. Like whatever, you shouldn't even came on. Like especially if you don't follow me. Hey y'all, get handle my lightweight. Yeah, go to yeah, take care of that. <laughs> Let me ask you this: so on some serious shit, what what helped you get over that, or have you always just not give a fuck about the comments? Um, man, I always told myself, bro, like, look, I ain't the prettiest guy in the world, okay? <laughs> and I know if the other guys are getting their ass towed up on social media, all these gums I got, lips sticking out, ears, like, I'm going to get my ass ate up. Pause, okay? <laughs> there, <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I just, and, and like, bro, we live in a, um, a time where people do stuff just to get a reaction out of you. Mm -hmm. One dude, I remember one dude came on my Facebook I think I posted a random video because like down here in Houston, it floods real bad all of a sudden. Like over the last couple of years, like, and like we almost have PTSD. Like if it regular, like if it's just a regular rain outside, I feel like I don't need to go to work. Like yeah. everyone down here feels like that. We feel like it's about to flood and we got, everyone needs to stay home and it can be the lightest rain or whatever. So some guy, I think I made a post about um how people always, God, please, God, please give me a new car, please, Lord. And then, like, <laughs> about the flood, they they try to park their car in the flood zone and then be right back begging, Lord, Lord, please, please, another car. I just couldn't afford the note on the last one. So that's why I flooded it. But I promise on, like, that's, so that's, I was just bringing up the idea that I thought of while I was driving. So, you know, I, I think I just brought up my camera. It was on IG Live or something, or Facebook Live. And I just said it real quick and I was kind of over exaggerating a little bit. And I just posted, it was just an idea. If you're not from Houston, you don't really get it. Mm. You'll understand it, but you won't understand like why it's funny down here. And so the guy was like, this is not funny. Like why is someone getting a car flooded? And I was like, dude, it's a Houston thing. And like the dude was from the Netherlands. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you're not gonna get it. Like, it's a, it's a Houston thing. Nah, you, you're mad because it wasn't funny. It ain't got no likes. I'm like, bro, it was a random thought. I don't care if me set, talking about flooding for 30 seconds doesn't go viral. And so, like, I think I, someone else was like, dude, won't you take your ass on somewhere or whatever? And then he was like, you, you a clout chaser. You probably bought your followers and bought your views. I'm like, like, like where'd that even come from? So like, wow. instead, I, I wrote some really mean and then I deleted it and I just deleted his comment. And then he put another comment and I was like, okay, you just want to be an asshole. Yeah, he just fucked so with you now. I think he um he sent me a message. Oh, I saw you deleted my my comment. Oh, you, you must have bought those followers. I'm like, dude, I said, I've gone viral several times. <laughs> right, where was this? I, man, this was had to be probably like, Maybe three months ago or something oh, like that. Oh, it's kind of relatively new. Okay. I just like, I just deleted it. I'm like, man, I'm not going to keep responding to this dude. Like, I must be giving this dude a hard on or something because he just keeps on coming. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what I've noticed? I've noticed that, uh, so definitely your followers, you don't get too much of that shit from people who follow you. Like, they follow you because they want to. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. normally, if it gets on the IG feed, if it gets on okay. other feed, right? Yeah, yeah. I did this once. One time, a motherfucker coming at me hard. And then I responded something, po you know me, I try to keep it positive all the time. And he was like, oh man, I was just fucking with you, man. I love your shit, da da da, da. I'm like, <laughs> like <laughs> Dude, like fam, I, I'm only saying this for me. I'm not, I'm not famous. I think I'm known a little bit. People have seen my videos, but I'm nowhere like, bro, I try, I, to my own detriment, I try to respond to every single person, bro. Got you. you tell me like, hey man, love the video. I'm gonna respond back to you and let you know. So I'm not the type of dude where you gotta do some some BS to get me to respond. Right, right, I see what you're you saying. What I'm saying. So I don't understand, like I, I get that. I, well, I don't know why I wouldn't do it, but I see why they do it with the bigger guys because of course you got thousands of people. I love you, I love you, I love you. They're not gonna respond to every single I love you. But that one person that's like, hey man, mm. Your edge will push back to your neck. That's the way <laughs> I get to them. We're like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but see, I, I, I don't know. Like, I have you ever personally met someone who makes negative comments on social media? Nope. It's always somebody showing love, man. 
I don't right. think someone who hates you would ever, I don't think they would even address you. If they if they did, I think it'd be fake. I think they'd be like, oh, hey, man, I love your videos. But they wouldn't say, I'm the guy who said you ugly. Right, they definitely ain't about to admit that. Uh, what is it like to, to, to hate? Listen, I don't like country music, but I, I, I respect the hustle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, not everyone is for everybody, but I respect someone going for theirs. Yeah, so like even I'm, if I'm if I'm scrolling, I don't like it. I'm never gonna go out of my way to hate on someone who's like they working hard on. Fam, even the stuff that where it's like super offensive, and I'm like, ah, this wasn't this wasn't a good video. This person should have posted. Unless they're my friend, that's when I will send them a message. And even then, I still don't. Like, hey, bro, if that's your business, like, if you're a close friend, like, I don't really have any super close friends I talk to every single day that do the social media thing. I got people where, like, like how you say, like, I respect the grind. So even when you posted your tattoo, you know, I hit you yeah, up. Right, right, like, yeah. Thank you for that. Hey, bro, I mean, if you did this, I think that would look dope. You know what I'm saying? And that was, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do that, too. I could have literally just kept scrolling and thought about it. I mean, like, oh, I'd be cool if you would have did this. All right, next. I was like, nah, respect man. respect the it, hustle, right. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't understand, like, how you could go out of your way to hate. I think, what did Drake say? There's jealousy in the night, in, in the air tonight, I could tell. I will never un understand that, but oh well. Like, I don't, un to me, when I see someone else killing it, that makes me, I don't look at it like, damn, that motherfucker's killing it, man. You know, fuck him, I'm funny. I look at it as, oh damn. shit, okay, I could kill it too. Bro, it's even times where like, even if you you see a video, right? And you're like, TikTok is a perfect example. They do nothing on TikTok and have <laughs> millions. Millions, right? <laughs> Bro, you know exactly what video I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah there's, and there's a lot of them too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but this is my thing. That's not for me. It's not for right. me to judge. Right. That person built up their following. Evidently, someone likes it, even if a lot of people are hating in the comment, which is driving the engagement. That still it works. May plan, it may be, it may not. That's for them. I'm that I can't me hating on that. It's not gonna help me up what I'm doing. Yeah, it's still only gonna help them. Right, right. It may be annoying and be like, like, what the fuck? But at the same time, I'm not gonna go come and be like, man, this is stupid. Like, why are you doing this? I would rather respond to the people who like it and ask right. them why. Right, if anything, right. But still, cares none. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> now, I'll tell you this, because when I first started, man, I had a really bad sense of uh, uh, giving a fuck about people's judgments. That's kind of where the cares none comes from. It's like, the, if I'm being honest, and I say this all the time on the podcast, sorry for anyone who's heard it before, but I say cares none because a lot of times I cares too much. You know what I'm yep. saying? Like when you like when you, when I t when I realize you know what you shouldn't don't care about that opinion then it cares none and that's almost like saying fuck it right it's like yep. it's a healthy way of saying fuck it and I remember so I'm sitting with my buddy Steve who the dude I do the wings with mm -hmm. and I'm scrolling and I'm like man I'm kind of worried about what you know what do people think I'm funny and that kind of shit right and then I scroll I came across this one girl big girl big white girl she had like seven million like on Instagram ton of followers right and I, so I'm like I, I'm just looking at her shit just dancing huh she don't want to be dancing. Oh, man, I haven't seen her in two years because she literally was not funny. Like nothing was funny about her at all, like, right? Like to me, it was, biscuits. Damn, it might have. I don't know if it was that. I don't remember exactly. No offense, no offense. I love my women, but this girl <laughs> she was a big girl. This girl was a big girl, but she made a lot of. So the first thing I noticed was she was consistent. She would bop, 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 right. So hella consistent. And then I'm reading the comments because I'm like, yeah, I just don't see where this is funny. But she's, you know, personally. And then you're reading the comments and 80% of the comments are saying the same thing, like, don't understand, don't understand. Meanwhile, every 25 posts, she got some more balloons about how big her number's getting. So I'm like, I wonder what the fuck that is. So it just helped me say, okay, I think that personally, I think that I'm funnier than her. So as long as I'm, even if I'm not funny, you can still make it almost by being yeah. consistent and working hard. Bro, that's, but bro, I think in anything you do, you always got to work hard. I mean, some people are going to be lucky or whatever, but majority of people, if you just work hard, man, you're going to get something or it's going to show you that like, it's not for you mm. or, you know saying saying? But I mean, bro, you got to look at certain people, fam. Like I've been thinking like how old and like I'm 33, right? Most of these cats, like these TikTok guys, Instagram, they're like in their twenties, man. If not, damn, they're teenagers. 
And it's like, I, I can't look at that. I got to look at, okay, what's for me? Mm-hmm. What 33 year old role in a movie do I need to be? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not going to act like a young person. Like I need to be like exactly who I am. You know what I'm saying? And not work. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like two chains. Dude was rapping forever. And all of a sudden he hit. And he what in his 40s. What was he Titty Boy? Yeah. Yeah. Titty yeah. Boy. <laughs> and now he's like huge and has so many, like, even where he does like the little um the little show where he's like trying out like all his expensive, expensive shit. Yeah, that's a yeah. funny show though. <laughs> he's having some fun 40s. Right. So if right. I grind till I'm 40 just to finally make it when I'm 41, then that's what it's going Listen, here's what I say. At the end of the day, I I get a value from doing it. Yeah. I could tell, and I, you know, for a second there, I thought, because I didn't feel this way until today, but I'm about, I'm going to be transparent. I'm like, damn, he hit me back. I'm like, why he, like, that's what he owns. That's what I thought. I'm just being honest. Hold on, hold on. That's what I was all. But obviously it wasn't that. But I've and I, you can feel it sometimes when people are like, okay, I think you're doing this for the wrong reasons. You just trying to make it, you, just try, you know, because you, you, you putting your value in the fame and the likes and the views and shit. I'm like, and don't get me wrong, I desire that shit too, but I don't desire it just for the art of desiring it. I want to get my creative process out. Bro, I've always said I do not. That's why I don't go in Walmart and fuck with people. Because I want someone to see my content, see my brand, and see value in it, and offer me something because of that. Whatever that is, if it's shooting something for them, editing something for them, coming up with an idea for them, actually being in maybe their project with them. Like, if I see somebody just fucking with people in Walmart, like the guys who do pranks on random, like I don't know those guys who used to do the terrorist prank where they throw the backpack and they take off the the holla whatever shit. shit. Come on, that's funny, but. I ain't gonna see that and be like, oh, he should be in my next movie. Cause he ain't doing nothing. It's not, it doesn't do anything, bro. So I know, uh, like with me, let me ask you this. When you've you've worked with more with other influencers or people creating, right? So you yeah. you've done meetups, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, I normally like even that's how I kind of met you too, like hitting you up. Cause I, I could tell your sense of humor. Since I got my little brace and stuff, man. No, you I tell by your sense of humor and how far you were willing to go. I was like, okay, this is who, I don't have to worry about this guy saying, nah, man, I, I can't do that. Never. And I wouldn't actually do that <laughs> crazy, but I know like to act a fool in front of the camera, not a lot of people can do that. Not a lot of people can like be funny. Like they get in front of the camera and they're like, hey, hey, hey y'all. Right. Like I, I need someone who can do their, Hey guy, hey Connor, uh, I saw you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> right, right. No problem doing it, and it's not a lot of people that you know can do that. So let me ask you this: How many times do people say, "Hey, bro, let me get me in a video"? And then how about this? Wait, 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 wait. wait. And then you'd be like, one, you'd be like, "All right, where you at?" They, they all of a sudden you can't find her. But then two, you could say, "Okay, you." It takes a little time to get more comfortable to be in front of that camera. Bro, I have a family, so. I have to be cautious with who I'm around because it's bro. It's some people out here they don't have, they don't have a family. They just out still living wild, whatever. And then they get me caught up in something. And then like you know me, I need to shoot and get my ass back home. You know I got family to take care of and like I'm serious. So like you can't fuck around. Yeah, I can't mess around. And then I don't like to be around negativity. Like you know I don't do the whole club stuff no more. The only way I'm going to the club is if my friend. He's having some type of birthday, mm, a celebration oh, yeah, or something. Right, right, right. That's the only way. I don't like, I, I, I don't get into all that extra stuff or whatever. But fam, like, even with you, I think I hit you up and then you said you were in Chicago. I'm like, shit. Like, I know it's hard because, you know, it's hard for me to leave my wife, you know, with the kids and stuff like that or whatever. And then I told I you, I'll come out though. I'll come out. I think even like, bro, that's cool. I think yeah. even at that time, I was serious. I was doing this, but I didn't know if I had anything yet. So it's like it's almost like I don't want to have you come out and we I don't have nothing. It. Like I had you come down here for the most bullshit ass video or whatever. Like See, now that, that was the question I wanted to ask you. So when you get, and this is the problem I think that I'm I'm having, and I help me get over this. If I was to meet up with somebody, like let's say Robbie's world, right? Yeah. And I don't know how he has a billion videos a day. That motherfucker he works, oh. right? Every day. So 
where is he getting these ideas from? And then like, let's say they have, they have those meetups, right? If I'm not mistaken, they have like these social influencer meetups. Like, does he just have all these ideas? Like, all right, walk it off. Like, like, how do you do it? Cause I feel like the few times I've done it, we've wasted time trying to figure out the idea as opposed to recording it. I would think um, he's been doing it so long. I think that helps with it. And then he kind of has a team, bro. It's the team part mm. where I'm trying to like fam, this shit gets stressing sometimes. Not even off of people not liking the video. It's just trying to get it done. I have so many ideas, but if I can't shoot something how I want to shoot it, I'm not going to force it. Mm, right. So now you've seen the idea. And so now if I try to do it later, it may not hit as hard because you, you saw it. a BS version of it or whatever. But um, I've never done like a, a, a meetup because my ideas, like I said, bro, I just think of stuff, man, or I see stuff. And I shoot it on the spot. You know, if it's a simple mm. video, I shoot it on the spot. If it's somewhere I know I could really like a Friday, uh, like a Friday parody. Cause like on TikTok, people do parodies and stuff all the time. And they're like so simple, but you know, they're still funny, but they're simple. You know, they're just using their phone and right, that's it. Right. When you can kind of give it that cinematic touch, mm. the whole creative thing, I feel like that makes it, it makes it give it a little bit a longer life in social mm. media. Like it's got more substance. It gives more respect. Yeah. Like that. You know, because TikToks don't get a ton of respect per talk, right? You know what I'm saying? You look at it, you laugh, and then you're on to the next. On to the next, right, right, right. And that's probably why people that why the views is so heavy is because they all what they so bop, 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 you yeah. know. And the only thing I hate about TikTok is that culture is you see somebody do something and then you redo it. I know Instagram is not like that. If you do that on Instagram, then you got people saying, Hey man, you stole this from such and such if you don't give credit or whatever. And like TikTok, that's why. Some guy took my Crip Fit video, copied it verbatim. Oh, I, I remember that. And move for move. And there, and like, you know, he clearly like. It was very obvious. No way. There's no way he could have done that. <laughs> someone, it's like someone seeing this and recreating it with a Cares None hat. And the same right, 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 right. It was, yeah, I, I remember that. Like, wow. I just thought of this, man. Like it was no Wait, he said that. No, I think the guy, the first guy who did it, he like was like, Oh man, my bad. Like it was, I did, just saw the video or whatever. So I was like, all right, man, whatever. And then another guy copied him, and then everyone was tagging him, talking about, hey man, he took your video. I'm like, no, nah, ah, hell no, nah. <laughs> my video. Right, 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 right. So I take this uh now. Let me you ever deal with this. Like when you'll have an idea and you'll do it and you think, wait a minute. And then you you really did not take it. You did it and then someone else does it or, oh. or like something very similar. Do you, did, what did, does your mind go to, did I maybe subconsciously steal this or did they steal it from me? Like, what do you think when you when it happened? Fam, I, just even an example of that. So you might not follow him. Uh, the guy, his, his name is The Real Spark. And he's the guy who was like on, uh, he made a video where he was like, hold up. Some ain't right. Like a big dude. Oh, like they showed him, he was like talking on the news, but he really imposed himself. Like he filmed it like he was the one they were talking to. Okay. And he told this crazy story. Man, it was like two people on a deal though. It was like cat dog. And <laughs> okay. like, like, sounds funny. Like, hold up. Some ain't right. Like if you type that in, that's all you're gonna see is him or whatever. Okay. But um he did a video of uh, you know, Toby Nawiwe, uh I need to step my game up, I guess. He's a Houston rapper. Uh, man, I'm trying to think of. Man, he was on BET. He does like like a lot of woke stuff. Toby, what's his name? Toby. Uh, if you type in Toby, Toby, and then For Instagram or you or Google. Uh, you can do Google either way. Right, pop Google. Up. Toby, what? And then his last name is N W I G W E. Okay, yeah, he came up first. You have had to see some of his stuff. Like he's been on BET. He's like real. Oh, okay, I, okay. I, I have seen this guy. I, I do not follow him though. But I, so I have he, seen this guy. Yes. He's the one who did the song "Try Jesus, Don't Try Me," cause I throw hands. <laughs> oh, so that's his song that he came up with. And I had thought of. I was literally in the kitchen, and I was like, I saw my seasoning, and I was like, "Try seasoning, put it on your meat." See, to me, that's not stealing. But but this is the thing. 
the real spark literally had done that two months ago. Uh, he, his was try seasoning. Like we both said try seasoning, but then our verses were different. And I literally forgot that he even did that video. So I don't even know if like, yo, you can look at my videos and tell I'm not hurting for like content. Like I don't need to copy someone. Right. Or, if, if anything, I look at editing styles. And that's something that I'll pull from is like, oh, I like that transition. That's a good idea, right, right. That's that. I'm not going to take anyone's content because I don't want anyone to come to me and be like, oh, man, such and such do that. I hate that. That burns yeah. up. Yeah. I think I have to copy somebody else. But I literally, like, um, his cousin sent me a text and he was like, he sent me the YouTube link. He's like, bro, y'all think just alike. Because he knows that I, I don't steal. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, man. Like, Did you I, take it down? No, like, I, I, I think I went back. I put inspired by, I said, like, I had no idea. I forgot that he posted this. I even hit him up. I was like, bro, call me ASAP because because I think somebody commented and was like, man, such and such did this first. And I was like, I, I think I told a dude, I said, you dumbass. I said, me and him are cool. Like, I, I really know him. Like, we super cool. I was like, I know him. And like, he even commented and was like, bro, it's all love. Like, telling the yeah. guy, like, it's. Like, it's love. Right, 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 right. So. I know what. Go ahead. That's why I try not to like, not that I don't try to watch other people's stuff, but I try not to watch other people's stuff, man. Cause I don't want, I don't want to like see an idea and it was something that maybe I kind of thought of and I was going to do it a different way. But now I feel like I'm too similar to them to use it. Cause bro, yeah. it's- And that's, it's, it's, TikTok breeds that shit though, like you said. Like, that's the, that's all they do. Like the dog face shit now, I like for instance, we both, you did something wrong, but I feel like we both did our own thing with it, but ultimately it was off of his original idea. That's it, bro. Like, I, even if someone did like Crip Fit, I wouldn't care if they made it their own. Right. Don't do exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, that shit was literally verbatim. Bro, and then, and then even if you do it, just show love. Inspired by such and such, original right. video by such and such. Hey man, y'all go rock with such yeah, and such. That's right. it, you do that, I don't care what, comes yeah. from you boy. you can blow up bigger than i did cool yeah, i should get some like, love you should get some blowback like if someone like goes viral off your stuff but they're showing you love like showing it hey this is who it really came from you're gonna right. get something some something. you some followers something right but they right, don't say right. nothing you don't get that so let's pivot off uh the social game man how's 2020 treated you man dude <laughs> awesome. I lost my job. So before COVID like was serious. So on my two year anniversary at my job, I lost my job. Mm. <laughs> and that's like, that's a whole story I'm gonna tell. Like I'm gonna do like this thing called creative conversations where I kind of tell stories about my life. And so I just want to tell the story like- the Oh, is I, it like the podcast you kind of tell me about? Uh, yeah, I yeah, would, okay. it may turn into a podcast, but since I don't really have someone to like talk with and do the whole I mean, They got podcasts that's by themselves. I got a couple of my, I got a couple that I do by myself. So you, I see, mean, the I, thing, go ahead. I don't know if I'm gonna be like as consistent with it. If I start it, I'm gonna try to, but I just know for right now, I just want to like kind of tell funny stories. Like, I don't know if you saw my post today. Today about, with the shaking of shit or wiping yeah. your ass, dig. <laughs> oh, those, that literally, that, that's a real story, bro. I was I, like, no I, way this is a real story. I am. I'm talking about real. The cheap. caption, the caption was very, it worked. I literally just wanted <laughs> to get people to click on it and listen. But I, I hope they don't think I was bullshitting because I, and bro, everything I said in that video, my wife literally watched me stand up and wipe my ass. <laughs> Something in me just said, Reese, somebody's looking at you, bro. And when I turned, she was like, I can't believe that's a real story. <laughs> I froze for like 15 seconds because like I'm married. So we we right, right. The door open. Now there's rules to it, okay? For certain <laughs> for us, if your turd is hitting the water and making a sound, close the door. I don't want her to hear that. She don't want me to hear it her. Cause, <laughs> Cause she already knows if I hear her, I'm gonna be like, God damn. Yeah, it's hard for us to when, when, thing when is the if, females do it, I don't like that. <laughs> Bro, I, I don't, yeah, that's that's where I'm like, ugh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I try to fuck later on. <laughs> if you just, just sitting on a pot, it ain't making no noise. You know, we having regular conversation. It's about cool, it's hey, cool. Da, 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 such and such did this, I hate this girl, whatever. 
But then when it comes time to wipe, you know you got to close the door, you do your thing, and then you open up and you continue the conversation. It's, but if it's already, but if it stinks real bad, the conversation probably stopped a long time ago and they exited or whatever. So, <laughs> right. bro, I'm literally sitting there, we talking. I'm on Instagram because you know I, I told everybody with a small business for Black Friday, yeah, right, right, right. I'll repost it on my story. So I'm steady trying to like get everybody in that, that sent me something. And I had took pre-workout because I was going to work out. And that's the only reason why I took a shit because I, I didn't want to be, <laughs> some reason for that pre-workout, it pushes that shit out. <laughs> Boom, gotta go. So I was like, all right, let me let me just drink the pre-workout now. And then by the time I'm finished, I'll be able to, I'll be ready to work out. So I got all this stuff going on. We're talking. In my head, I said, hey, Reese, shut the door. You need to wipe your ass. And I think someone, Instagram or something popped up. So I did that. And once I, I finished it, I just went straight into the motion, stood up, you know, spread my ass. <laughs> right, right, right. Right, Fold, right. Yeah. Wipe. Ding, 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 ding. I right. threw it down. I think I did it again. And of course, I don't know if it's just me. I think everybody do this. You look at it because you got to make sure. You got yeah. Wait, wait, so, wait, wait. If you don't look at it, you a nasty, bold right. motherfucker. <laughs> you got to be. You got to be playing. That's that's some Russian roulette with your ass. <laughs> or your, your draws. <laughs> so... I, I I think as I'm dropping it, I can I think I can see the door right here, and I'm like, why the fuck is this door open? Like, <laughs> the door is never open when I wipe my ass. And so when I turn out, like my ass is still spread. <laughs> and I look over, and she's just on the couch where we've been having our regular conversation the whole time, and she's just like, <laughs> and so I think I slowly close the door. I said something, and she started dying laughing. Okay, like, at least it was all right. Cool, it, it was a laugh at least. I, I thought like she really hurt herself. She was she was choking so bad because <laughs> she, was like, she was like, "Babe, our relationship is at a new level now." <laughs> <laughs> but we've been married for like three years and together what since to, since like 2011. So, I mean, I've took plenty of shits and wiped plenty of my ass. Like yeah, right, right. The door shut. Yeah. And, like this is the first time where she like. And she even she was like, I think I saw a little boo boo too. And I'm like, ah, she oh, fucking with you. <laughs> I, I, told her, I, said, I said, hey man, I, I think I need a little space. <laughs> I need a little space. <laughs> you know what? That's a good point. Like, it's it's one thing to see a motherfucker's turd, like you know they forget to flush or a little little floater. It's another thing to to see the 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 shit in the paper in the toilet paper still in the person's head. <laughs> I've never seen that. I, Bro, my shit is my shit, so I can look <laughs> at my shit and be fine. But right, seeing you, someone right. else is like, like, they shit can look just like mine. Same but thing. I see it. It's just, <laughs> even like pissing into like, if I like go to a urinal and there's already pee there, that's nasty to me. Yeah, it is. Like, yeah. I don't even want to pee in somebody else's pee because I don't need no droplets jumping back up. I know. So what do you do wait, when you take a shit at like a public? You got to go. I try to wait personally, but if I if I got to go, what do you? Do you do like the, the full method? Do you do the, the squat method? What you doing? Swap, swap, swap. You do you swap. do the full? Oh, oh, you going swap, swap. How swap. many lay wait? How many swap. layers you going? Swap. Man, I'm sitting on a damn couch by the time. Then <laughs> <laughs> you got a love seat. Man, cause, cause, all right, love. So look, right? So you got the toilet, right? You already know that you're gonna put these two pieces, then you put that top piece, but right here. <laughs> little piece of that, that seat that, so little you, piece that, that, that little piece <laughs> you gotta get those two little pieces put that there put yeah, that yeah. There. sometimes maybe you, you got the, the edges the edges is too wide so now right, you gotta right. grab another piece there so <laughs> see and you know like most of the public toilet for at least for the guys probably everybody it's like open right where the dick part be so I sometimes I'll do like a wrap around cause I don't want listen Maybe I'm wrong. If my dick touches the the seat that that's open, that's not as bad as that bottom part. Don't Bro. touch the, the the porcelain. Man, bowl. <laughs> if you touch that bottom, your dick go fall off. <laughs> it's Bro. true though, man. Ain't nothing worse than that, man. Man, that's the worst feeling is to have the top of your head touch that piece. Yeah, Cause you like, oh. well, I got AIDS I now. It, <laughs> Like I laughed at this long, my. <laughs> uh, no, take your shit to public. Now, how are you about making the sound, like the doo doo? 
I have to have my earphones in, like, you know, forever, um, cause I've always been in the corporate world. So normally wherever I took a shit, it was always like a nice bathroom or you always look for the nice bathroom and that's the one that you always go to. And I was going to handicap stall. So if I ever- go to. <laughs> wait, wait, how, but you know, wait, hold on, hold on. They say everyone said everyone goes to handicap stall, but what if, because everyone knows that, that ain't the nice one. Maybe. Well, I, <laughs> bro, I do I too. Remember I worked somewhere, man, and there was um, we all know a lot of Indian people do IT. If you're in the corporate world, that is just what it is. Okay? <laughs> That's what they do. That's what if they you're do. in accounting. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna see certain personalities, like the, it's certain stereotypes that hold true or whatever. And all these guys, they would always eat Indian food. And if you know anything about Indian food, because my wife's Nigerian, so their food is like hella spicy. And so, you mean spices, not even like hot. You mean spices or hot? No, hot, hot and spices. Well, I know with Indian food, they shit is hot and spices. I so food. I could always tell when they didn't came up out the bathroom because the same <laughs> way it smell when it coming out the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> same smell. <laughs> the smell coming up out that ass, man. So I don't always have to have my earphones, bro, because it seems like every time I didn't have them, people would come in there with, the the biggest sub subwoofer booties, man. And, <laughs> and it, it, bro, I don't know what it is like, but when I shit, I, I I guess I'm poop shy, so I have to sit there a while and then I can go. But like other people, they shit like they got somewhere. Beep, beep, beep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Quick, fast, and I heard it. Right. I'm sitting there in the next stall, like you know me. I I'm always like. Video ready, so I'm like one to like have my phone recording. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. But. I would say uh with me, I uh so my buddy Steve, he don't give a fuck about him. I don't like making the sounds, or I didn't before. So like it, it, it's it's gotten so bad for me that some I'd be taking the shit and going in right, and then somebody walk in, and then I'll stop mid turn and hold it for the whole time until that person take their shit. <laughs> and then they leave, wash their hands, leave. So I'm talking, what, a good five minutes? And I'm still like, <laughs> and then let it out because I'm so I'm so worried, I'm so self-conscious at the time about making that noise. That's, that's why I had the earphones. Man, I had that bass booming. I know oh, they get so, my music. Oh, you mean like out of sight, out of mind? Yep, I'm like, uh, boop, boop, right. boop. I, can feel, <laughs> I can feel it and I know it's making a noise, but I can't hear it, so I'm fine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I know uh, it did, but so I remember I was in the Bahamas and I was telling my guy, like, man, I hate, he goes, she, I, I, he goes, I play battle shits with that. I'll let him know. And he was like, he, he says he tries to go loud on purpose. <laughs> I'm like, you a wild boy. <laughs> I used to flip my ID card over because, you know, of course you pull your pants down. So your ID card is like showing. Oh, so yeah. I, that's I would point. flip the card and then like, I always wore the same shoes. So I could tell like, oh, this is such and such that's in here today. <laughs> So. Hey, what up, Tyrone? <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I've always stayed away from, but I'm getting better at it, though. And here's how I, I made a video, too, not that long ago, was when I first feel, realized I don't give a fuck. I went to, like, this club, and I was like, and I had the shit, man. I, I just, I had to go, and it's the most disgusting thing ever, in this, oh. you know, but I had to go, right? And I was like, we, I was, like, waiting for the stall. So, I, and there was, like, there was regular urinals, but clearly, if I'm waiting, they know I'm about to go in there, right? Mind you, I've always dealt with this self-aware, self, you know, I don't want people knowing this about me. But then I made a, I made a YouTube or I made an Instagram video about taking a shit at the club and how bold it was, you know? And that was the first time that I felt like I, I truly don't give a fuck. Okay. Like, it's something that bothered me for, like, really bad. That I, like, I th again, I held my, sh I held, it was like half turd, half out, half in for five minutes. And it hurt. <laughs> so hey, that's a yeah. hey uh when can you can you recall the time that you had to shit and how it feels like the, the worst ever in your life like I gotta go it like hurts man my worst experience was shitting on an airplane oh no first time on an airplane man like I like bro I like I don't fly like I'm not scared to fly but I just have never really fucking gone nowhere, bro. Like I, I went to, I think my first time flying, I was in college and uh, we went to Vegas uh, for my friend's birthday. And so like we flew there and then we were leaving because we wanted to stay an extra day. We had to change our flight. So we had to fly to LAX after that. 
land. And so in my head, I'm like, fuck, man, I'm tired of like almost dying. Like, I just want to get back home. And <laughs> done. Like, I'm, I keep on upping the, the chance. <laughs> right. Flew to Vegas, flew to LA, LAX. And then on our way back, it was storming, super bad, thunder hitting. So we had to like land in fucking El Paso somewhere, somewhere in West Texas or whatever. And so I'm like, God damn, I just want to get home and survive and then dry, uh, fly back again. But like on the very first flight, I think I had eight before or whatever. And we had like a six o'clock flight in the morning, 6 a.m. I literally feel my stomach bubbling and my ass is like, bro, we held this shit all night. You did, you were unaware, but we can no longer do this. Your muscles are weak. You're going to have to take a shit. And then I've always, <laughs> I always, I know that like when you're on a bus, you're not supposed to shit. Like you're supposed to be like, that's the one thing I do. You're supposed to be. Is an unwritten rule? There's like an unwritten rule. Like, I guess like, <laughs> like on a tour bus or some shit, like, and I would, I, I, I would just apply it to other people as well. Like you don't want to inconvenience them. Cause like when I shit, I shit shit. Yeah, I have a uh, I have a large water burger diet, so uh, it's a very hard. <laughs> it's hard. I, I think that's back when I was working out tough, so I was drinking a lot of protein shakes, all that. That's a whole different type of shit. <laughs> it's wild. I am six foot two. That stall in the, on the airplane is not built for, for us. six foot two people with long <laughs> legs. So I'm literally in there. My knees are grinding on. Yeah. Whatever, like the wall in yeah, front. These up. <laughs> oh, and then like I'm thinking about where the fuck does this shit go? Like, does it fly out the plane? Is there a tank at the bottom? <laughs> it's just shit the and then I think there was like barely enough toilet paper, so I'm just like, this is not like I'm literally. And then the plane's like moving. I'm like, I. When you flush that bitch, though, it, it, it they whoosh, like this is strong. They flush it strong. So, I think they. Oh, on a Greyhound. You ever been on a Greyhound? No. <laughs> That's for when you really broke. <laughs> Greyhounds be like $28 across the country. Uh, but I remember Greyhound, I remember taking a shit on a Greyhound bus and how horrible that was. But I'll tell you the one thing though, like being a, you wanna talk about an embarrassing plane story. I, let me tell you this one. So, you know, I used to be really heavy. Like I'm a big dude now, but I was 400 plus pounds. I've I, I seen the pictures that you showed, man. That's yeah. I was like four seventeen, the, the the most I've recorded. Could have been more, uh, but on the airplane, they them seat belts ain't for four hundred pounders. Them seats ain't for four hundred pounders, right? So I remember, but they, you have to buckle your shit up. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> I can fucking do it, right? I'm like, oh no. So I remember uh, for years, what, what, huh? What years? Shit, I, I've I've been where I'm at now for about. Seven years, eight now, so maybe like 2000. I, mean, I was big like almost my whole life, but probably like 2010, something like that, 9, 11, 10, something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I'm, I, but I would take a lot of, we take a lot of flights, you know what I'm saying? So what I would do, knowing that they're gonna try to embarrass me, right? <laughs> so I would, uh, I would pretend like I was sleeping, put like my, and put, put, put my jacket around my waist, because they won't wake you up to do that. So I'll just, I'll be like, <laughs> it's real bad. But then I started had asking for an extender. You ever seen a nigga ask for an extender? I, I've heard of it, but I, I've never <laughs> oh. seen. I, like that's all I was gonna ask you. Like how long ago was it? And like, I mean, I would assume that they've always had it, but I, I don't know. I just didn't think to ask. No, or no, I would. Uh, you know what? Maybe they. It's a, it's just embarrassing. It's all you know. It's a crowded airplane, so you got the two next to you, the three over here, the three in front of you, the three to the corner, the three in the back. I'm like. Then the lady goes, can I help you with any? No, she goes, I need you to fasten your seatbelt. Like, can I have a seatbelt extender? So, <laughs> it's just really embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? Bro, fam, my little son is in here in his little Batman underwear. He does not <laughs> understand any boundaries <laughs> at all. Hey, yo, he's the star of your, of your videos, man. <laughs> you got a little If y'all knew how hard it was, like, I don't force him to do anything. Like, because you would be able to, you would know he didn't want to do it. So I always try to, like, frame stuff up to where he can have fun and do it. Because, like, I mean, it's my son, bro. Like, my first son. I want him to be involved. Like, I want to be able to leave something for him, man. Right, right. So, well, let's do this, man. Uh, shout out your, uh, we can, let's do another one. I know you got stuff going on. Where can people find you, man? Shout out all your socials. 
Shoot, man. Uh, right now, YouTube is Creative Comedy, Creative with a K, Comedy with a C. Um, most of my handles are Creative Comedy, so like my uh, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, is Twitter? Twitter is Reestopher. So I'm either Creative Comedy or I'm Reestopher. R-E-E-S-E-T-O-P-H-E-R underscore. So if you look on any social media, even hashtag creative, creative comedy. I try to put them on all my videos so people can always right. find That's the way to get to me, man. Let me ask you, you just posted something that you about to start doing. Uh, what was that? You just oh, posted um, so me and um, my friend, you see me a lot of videos, uh, Drip Dot Productions. Um, so I always told him, like, I got known for doing, I got to move my son because he's getting on mine. You right? can go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Hey, I'm telling y'all, anybody who's watching this, his son is like half the show. <laughs> and it's and it, it is never phony. It always works, y'all. Telling y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta check out. It's his kid. It's, it's half the battle. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll just tell the people about this you. little. This little guy was sent from God to fuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, come here. Come here. Look, come here. This guy literally yesterday. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Hey, what up, man? How you doing? <laughs> this guy literally, so I felt him sneeze on my back, right? <laughs> so I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm not thinking none of it. I'm just thinking he's by me. So I'm like, Carter, cover your mouth. And as I'm like turning to tell him that, I see him smiling and he goes, ha too again. Like he's sneezing on me on purpose. Oh, bugger. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Like we gonna catch these hands. <laughs> Don't keep your mother right now. Right, okay. right. Um, so what about the? It's called Creative Drip. So because he's Drip Dot Productions or Drip Productions, and I'm Creative Comedy. I think a long time ago I put like Creative Drip. I told him about that, and then so he that's what he put on the beginnings. But I, I I told him like you know we did a lot of parodies together, and that's how me and him kind of we had some like we did the Friday parody with the little great. That was so people. good too, right? Oh. I got known for kind of doing parodies at one point uh, by the people that follow me. So I had told him like, man, we need to do like a parody movie. Something where it's just a movie, like even like, like, you know, you take a Friday and you parody the whole Friday, but you just, you know, creatively do each scene different. C kind of like uh, the way the Wayne's brothers used to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Like, you know how they might flip one scene. We flipped the entire movie. Yeah, like, like, like almost like scream. Yeah, basically, yeah. just like scream. But then, like, so the way that we did it. So this is the. So this is what we have. So for ours, it kind of shows us we're sitting there talking, and we're like, "Hey, man, we need to do more positive skits and stuff, man." So it's like our real selves, and you know, somehow we say something like, "Man, yeah, we need to come up with something, but we don't need to take our day like last time." And then it cuts to like a parody of like. Um, I think he said, like, we don't need to wait all day because you remember what happened last time we did that. And then so it showed oh. him, like, with some coke, like, cocaine. And he's okay. like, oh, this ain't a good idea. And then it cut to me. And, like, I was in my uh, closet with, like, a water burger cup hanging down like a mic. And it flashed across the screen. It says the uh, the deaf rapper. Okay. And then all, all you hear is me go, um, and, um, and I was like, nope, not a good idea. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but that's then, funny, though, right? It cuts back to us on the couch and we're talking again about, you know, having dialogue and then that dialogue leads into like the next parody. You know, and it's so kind of almost like uh, like the same formula that like Family Guy does. Yeah, I would but say it, it's a bunch of. Yeah, yeah it's of like they're the normal show is going on and it's cutting to parodies. It's me and him having like as if we're just sitting there chilling, having regular conversation and our conversation sparks the parody. And yeah, then like, no, that's brilliant. And then like we go back into ourselves, you know, it was one where um I think I I think I got up and I was like getting some cereal. And I was like, man, did you eat my cereal? And he was like, no, I ain't your cereal. And then it cuts to the one where the guy, like I'm sitting there with a the bald head, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna ask you some real simple questions, and you know, this, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it shows me questioning him as the ball guy. Right, right, right. Like, you know you fucked know you're up, right? right, right, right. You know you fucked uh, up, right, 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 right. No, that's a good idea, bro. Hey, I'm telling you, if you ever need another man who's willing to do whatever, man, I will come down there and make some work. I'm serious about that. Bro, I got everything marked down, bro. I know, like, whenever I need something, 
I know who to reach out to. I know who kept it 100. I know who's like humble. Yeah. I can't deal with like, I can deal with people with egos, but I would rather not have to deal with those like, people. And, and like you said earlier, and we'll end the show soon, but like you said earlier, man, you can, you, that shit resonates through the screen. Yeah. You can feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? At least I can. I'm like, uh, you know what? Like, you know who I don't fuck with? Cap Dollars. Do you know him? Mm -mm. What does he do? Uh, he's, He's uh he's cap dollars, and I'll tell you the reason why. Uh, you know, and I'm be, to be full transparent. Mm -hmm. He, I did some vo promos to him. Okay, he's got like I don't know five hundred thousand followers, something like that. And he was doing some I'm I'm promoting today. Da 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 da. Did some work with him. It worked out. It was cool. I got some followers. It was dope. Worked out perfect. And I did that with him like twice. He kind of took his time on that kind of shit. You know, on that big time. Like I'll get to it when I do. Like all right. Niggas think that they're bigger than what he got. Okay, so whatever. But he, but it, <clears throat> but it eventually came through. Then he got his blue check, right? So then I'm like, oh, okay, nigga has a blue check. So then, like a month later, he goes, "Hey, anybody looking for a blue check right now? Hit me up." So I was like, I already know these be scam, but I've done business with him before. You know, this is full, you know, this is full transparency because, and I'll tell you why I even attempted this. So then I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to see what's up with that. So I hit him up and he was like, yeah, 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 that's the thing, man. I got my guy over at Instagram, da, 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 da. So I'm like, cool, right? And then he goes, uh, so he gave me the number to this dude that supposedly worked at Instagram and it was a large lump sum of money. And I'm like, I don't know, this is sketchy for this, man. He goes, man, this is the way everyone is doing it. I'm like, and here's why it's, it's important to have, here's why the blue check, it ain't nothing to do with being cool. The reason yeah. why the blue check is really dope for me at least is because you gives you direct access to anyone else who has one. Damn. So for instance, let's say a random person uh, emails you, right? Or DMs you, it goes to that third one. You got your primary, your general, then there's that third one in the, in the DMs. I you know what I'm talking about? I you thought, a, is yours uh is, is it creative or regular profile or business? Uh, I think I I, I think mine is like business because I, I think they have like creator and, and business. Yeah, so I, if I'm not mistaken, if you go in your DMs, yeah. So like for instance, I'm I'm going to my DMs right now, right? Going to DMs, go to the messages. Can you see? You see that third one? Hold on. At the uh, like the so third. you see the one that says one request. Yeah. So that's the one that you don't see oh, right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like people who don't follow me, it goes over to there. that one. Right, right, right. And then you have to move them to the regular one, right? I got no primary if, or uh, right, or general. If you have a blue check, you get instant. You get to go right in the primary of anyone else who has a blue check. Oh, that's dope. I didn't... Right, that's the dopest part about having a blue check to me, because then I can message Will Smith and he's gonna see it. Ah. Whereas all the fans you message him, there's gonna be th hundreds of thousands in that other one that he's never gonna look at ever. You know what I'm saying? I, guess it, I mean, I, I would see them having to have some type of like- uh, Team. For, for being like, cause you know me, I just used to think, you know, you get certified, it kinda, uh, it makes for people who wanna do business for, with you, know that like, okay, he's certified. This kind of gives you a little bit more credibility. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Nice work to have. And it's like a way to say like, this is officially Chris Campbell. This is officially Reese. You know what I'm saying? So like, so if someone else makes a fake account, it's not officially them. Cause yeah. I can make a Will Smith too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's not official that, so the blue check helps with that. But for some reason it turned into I'm famous. I got a blue check, you know, where there's restaurants down the street. They got a blue check because it's, it's a legit thing. It's really their business. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, so anyway, so I, I went to the dude, he sent me this guy's number. I'm going back and forth and it was a, it was a nice piece of change. I'm like, you know what? Man. Quarantine had just started. They threw out that $1,200 check. I'm like, all right, if I'm ever going to take a shot at this, you know, I'm going to take a shot with, and it was half of that 1200. So I'm like, okay. And that, so and I'm going back and forth to the dude and, and, da, 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 and he's going back and forth to me. So he's like, I'm going to do it first thing in the morning. I get to work. Everything seemed cool. Never heard from the nigga again. So then I'm like, damn, he got me. Went back to Cap Dollars. Never even opened my shit up again. Damn. I done had, bro, like trying to like um promote like my videos through 
and you know, me and you have talked before because like, I mean, you can tell when someone is promoting their video. Let me get this light right. This mug. Oh, you got it. But um, I mean, you can kind of tell when someone's promoting a video through someone. And I think I saw, who was his name? Like 313 Zeke. Oh, I remember him. Yeah, I didn't like that dude. Yeah. Like, dude, he he had something where he was like, um, you know, $75. He had it up for two days or whatever. And I always, you know, I think everyone knows this, or you should know this, when you're trying to promo, promote your video through other pages, it kind of, you need to, the video needs to kind of be tailored or tailored for that person's audience. Cause when people go to that person's page, they want to see them. So if they see you and they don't know you, they just going to go buy it. But if they can kind of see that like, oh, this is something similar that I'm used to looking at, then they'll actually maybe look at it. And then that's where you get your followers, people that think it's funny or whatever. So, you know, he was like one of those Atlanta guys. And I think I sent him the bread. And if you don't know me, I'm like, do not steal money from me. I mean, no yeah. one likes to have money stolen from them, but like, if you borrow money from me, I'm the type of person, bro, I can let you borrow something. I won't say nothing to you. I won't ask for it back. I will wait. If you tell me, hey, in two weeks, I'm going to give you this money. In two weeks, I will be expecting that money. If something happens, just let me know. Right, you talk know, to hey, me. Hey, bro, this happened. I ain't gonna buy. Give me another week. All right, cool, no problem. But if you ghost me, that eats my soul up, man. Cause like I'm very giving. So yeah, you're trying to do the right thing. I'm very giving. All you gotta do is keep it 100 with me. And like, if you ain't got it, and then if it comes to the point of, look, bro, I ain't gonna be able to pay you back, or I don't want to pay you back, then evidently, if you feel that way, then you must not want to be friends with me, and we can be done. So especially the social media dudes, you get a money man hoping that they gonna post it on time. Cause like, bro, they're not like some professional business. This is a nigga that you sending some money. <laughs> you're hoping that you right, right. post a video with care and post it how it's supposed to be posted. Yeah, yeah. He may post it as a square and it needs to be the long way. Yeah, it's like, yeah, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like hoping that they, they care or whatever. And um, that's why I always try to ask them to put like an organic caption so it doesn't seem like, because I don't know how he really talks. So I want you to put it in your words where your people will really think you post it yourself, even though some people still gonna know that, you know, I paid for you to post it on the page. But the 313 Zeke dude, send him to 75. You know, he's talking all this. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up this day. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I got you. And I had like told him, you know, um, I think I had got maybe fucked over before. And I was like, hey, I just wanna be sure. He's like, yeah, man, I got you. Bro, he didn't post my video for like two months. I hounded him every day. I commented on every post. Like I know seventy five dollars might not be a lot to some people, but oh, that's no, I don't give a fuck if it's two dollars, bro. For this, like, it's like, I got a family, bro. So like, when I decide yeah. to send you get some pampers, bro, just to have people look at my video and that's it. Like the money, it's gotta, it's gotta. It's gotta that's hit, why, like, right. it's like when you promote with some people and it don't really do well, you be like, fuck. I know. You know what I'm saying? Ways, because you know, because yeah. you know when it does do well. Cause it makes you makes you feel like, damn, maybe I should have spent that little bit of extra bread with the and bigger with this dude, right, right, whatever. So, well, I tell you, yeah, I, uh, I, so getting screwed, and that was six hundred dollars, nigga. Like, bro, bro, he, <laughs> I think once he finally posted it, oh, I got fucked twice. That's why that shit bothered me. It was another guy, but fuck him. Anyway, I think his <laughs> manager took my money. This other guy, he was like, his manager runs that page. He didn't know. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, but anyway, yeah. I think the guy hit me up. He was like, hey, you need another promo? I'm like, no. Hey, fuck out of here. I'm good, bro. Block. Time, bro. <laughs> like, how you, yeah. you don't remember? Don't right. Like, I stopped following everything, but I guess he still had the DM, and maybe he needed some bread or something. So That's what it feel I, like, right. Them dudes will see that you're promoting your video, and then all the fucking wolves will come talking about, yeah. Hey, Promo, you need, need promo? You need promo? Nah, you need promo? Fuck off my page. I like to just mess with the same few dudes that I mess with, man. And But eventually, you're going to have to go to the... Either it pops off naturally, or you go to a big dog and just spend some, some money money. You know what I'm saying? Because all you need is if you could just get like 100,000 new people to see your shit, that's a number. You know what I'm saying? You get the number off that. 
Remember when, uh, dude, the, the, the reach went down. Bam. That's why um, I couldn't remember if I had a business or a creator account because I was like, Trying to see if maybe my page got shadow banned. I'm that's what you think, right? Shit. I'm <laughs> hey, YouTube and shit, <laughs> bro. I'm, it, but bro, that's why I just came to the realization. I think I may even talk to you about this. I was like, just be like, just keep posting, man. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do, bro. Like, it's either gonna be there or it ain't. Like, you ain't gonna do some secret thing and then everybody fuck with you. Now, I mean, it is, bro. It's people out there that probably have the funniest content, but they have no followers, so no one can see it. And yeah, I think they slowed down, man. I mean, dude, I was getting videos each crap, and I only had like 10k at the time. I'm talking three, uh, 50,000, 70,000, 120,000, 440,000. And now I'm lucky if I'm getting like 510, bro. It's like they went down, down. I had to learn to just like sometimes I might take it down and put it up at a different time, but now I just like I leave it, bro. It like, like how Snoop found that one video. That's all it takes. Like, like how do you even know? Life. Like, where do you even find it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But if you take it down, no one can find it. Well, all right, man. I enjoyed you, man. Thanks for being on the show. Wasn't that bad, was it? Hey, bro. Hey, and even on my part, bro, because I even like whenever when the time popped up and it said it was eight twenty two, and I know we said eight. I'm like, fuck, man. He gonna think I don't fuck with him when that, I, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of I'm like, damn, he don't fuck with bro. me. Okay. You know I fuck with you. If that's I'm, what I thought. That's what I thought. If I'm calling you to tell you how to post your picture with your text. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, and fam, I was hurt, nigga. I'm, I'm emotional. Nigga. Bro. It's just like, fam, like I was saying, like I need a team. I got a lot of shit going on, bro. Like with family, like two kids. Like whenever I got downtime and I'm just chilling, like I got so much on my mind. Cause, like I don't have a job, bro. Like I got two kids, a wife, no job. It's COVID season, so it's harder. It's just already a motherfucker, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of shit going on. So, like, bro, don't ever think I don't fuck with you, bro. All right, because like I said, I could tell once when you was like, bro, call me. Like, I'm on. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, man, call and me. And for bro. a split second, I was like, man. Yeah, I, 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 said, I, I said, don't I, be I, on I, that. I was hoping that you didn't think when I said call me, like, I, I wanted you to call so I could be like, hey, bro, this. That's happened. kind of what I was like, oh, this nigga go, okay. I'm like, all right. This, I was like, you know what, man? You don't need the energy in the world. He's a creator. You like his work. I, you know I fucked with your work. Uh, but I'm glad you got on, man. I'm glad you got on. I definitely want to do some real work. Yeah, some like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the podcast is cool. I love this. But I want to get like on some camera, movie, short film, whatever, man. I'm trying to create. I'm trying to do whatever. And uh, and as always, cares does. I'm going to holler at you, boy. All right, fam. Thank you, bro. Stay out of trouble, too. And tell your kid to stay out of trouble, too. He needs to stay out of my damn face. <laughs> All right, boy, boy. I'm headed out soon. All right, bro.